Hi, Nicole Young here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add an image inside of text. I have this image opened up into Photoshop, and I'll just go ahead and start out by adding some text. I'm going to press T to activate my type tool, click in my image, and then just start typing. I'm going to resize this real quickly, so I'll use my keyboard shortcut, Command or Control T, and then just drag it out from one of those sides. Now I'm going to change my font, so I'm going to go over to my character panel, and I'll select one of these fonts in the list. Now I'm ready to put the image inside of this text. So I'm going to go over to the Layers panel, and the first thing I need to do is unlock this layer. I'm going to be using a clipping mask to get this effect, so the image needs to be above the text. So I'm going to drag the layer, and then release it. Next I'm going to press and hold my Option or Alt key, I'm going to hover in between these two layers until the icon changes, and then click. Before I go any further, I'm going to add a background color so I can more easily see my text. In the Layers panel, I'm going to click on the Adjustments drop-down and select Solid Color. I'm going to choose some type of a blue-green color, and then click OK. Now over in the Layers panel, I'm going to relocate this layer so it's at the very bottom. So I'll just click and drag it. Now I'm going to go over to the Text layer and click it to activate it and resize it once again. So I'll use the keyboard shortcut Command or Control T. I'm just going to drag out from one of those corners and then center it in my canvas. And I'll press Return once I have it where I want it. Now if you wanted to, you could further edit this text. So over in the Layers panel, I'm going to double click in the blank space in that layer to activate the layer styles. And I'll start out just by adding a quick drop shadow, and I'm also going to add a bevel and emboss. I'll just leave the settings as is for now, and then I'll click OK. Now the beauty of using this method is that you can easily make adjustments to your text and even what the text says. So for example, if I wanted to use a different font for this, I could go over to the Character panel, and then find a different font. You can also make any other edits that you want inside of the Character panel. Let me go ahead and resize this once again so it fits a little bit better. If I wanted to, I could change what this says altogether. So I could just double click and just type a completely different word and the image still stays inside of that text. I'm going to undo that real quickly. Another thing you can do is move the image around. So I'm going to go back to my image layer, I'm going to press my V key to activate the Move tool, and then just click and drag inside of the image. Now if I go too far to one side, it's going to reveal the color of that text. So I just need to make sure that I keep that image completely covering that text. 